What's up, everybody? Swell's back again with more disc golf content. And today I am in North Carolina. I went to the, the Diavolo disc golf course, and I'm going to be giving you my second ever disc golf trip in the bag or in the satchel, I should say. And shout out to a Yeet Street disc golf for hooking me up with some of these discs that I'm going to show you. I'm going to get my satchel. I'll be right back. Right, here we go. So, we start with the putters. The putter, right? I got one putter here. I got the Luna. Can't go wrong with the Luna. I've been putting with Lunas for the longest time. I'm still putting with the Lunas. Gave me a minus six at the Whites today at Diavolo. So, that's my put putter. I got an approach disc too. I've got the A2. The A2 matches my shirt too. This thing's all right. Uh, I would say all right is the answer. It's not my favorite. It's not the worst. Could be a better disc though. Okay, now we disc up a little bit. Going to the mid-ranges. And I will say the issue I had with this course at Diavolo is that I didn't have a straight mid-range. I brought a flippy one so I could do some turnover shots. I brought the Tersus. This thing is way too flippy. I couldn't do any straight shots with it. This disc is not bag worthy. This is not a good disc. And the reason why I bring all these discs that I bring, as you've seen up to these two so far, Luna's replaceable. The A2, I don't throw anyways. It's replaceable. This is replaceable. I don't throw the Terses anyways. I got better discs at home. I don't feel like losing them in North Carolina. Okay. Now we go to the fairways. And the first fairway that I have, my name's actually not on it. It's a Kristen Tatar Grand Slam Opto Ice Glimmer Explorer. What a mouthful like the Bojangles I just ate. This, <coughs> just your typical fairway driver, your typical little seven-speed fairway driver. Straight, little stable finish at the end. Nice and done, nice and easy. Now, the last disc that I brought with me is the Prodigy D2. I got this at a Lake Marshall tournament. I, threw, I brought this disc because I don't care if I lose it. It's pretty stable, actually. It's pretty stable. It does handle good torque backhand and forehand. Um, that's the D2. However, I bought three discs. And we'll start with the used one that I bought, which is the Latitude 64 XXX Tentacion. Not the Tentacion, but the, the XXX. So 7304, really overstable, seven speed. Kind of slots in between what my Pyro would be and what my Ati would be, I guess. It's a pretty good disc though. It's pretty stable and I like it so much. I bought it from the used section. It was only like $11, I think. Yeah, it was $12. I was like, you know what? I got to try it. It's pretty stable. And I might need a disc in that slot. So I bought it. We'll see. The other disc I bought, or the second disc I bought, I should say, is the Clash Discs Eric Oakley Spice. This thing is basically your overstable 9-speed. It's a 10-speed, it says, and it's, it feels great on a forehand. Feels okay on a backhand, but really a good forehand disc. Going to give some competition to my Ati, my Mario in the bag. Or maybe I'll bag them both. Who knows? But this one, this one I'm excited to show you guys. This is the Ricky Wysocki Saki Bomb General. It doesn't release yet. It's out tomorrow, but I got it early. This thing is awesome. It is basically, to me, it's like, um, it's like a destroyer, but a little more workable than a destroyer. It is reliably overstable. But the numbers are 12404. I don't really think that those numbers are accurate. I would say it's more like a 12503. To be honest, I think I think it deserves more a little less credit than that for overstability. It's a nice stable disc. It's not that stable. Um, I was throwing it for reference probably about 385, 395, flat ground, flex forehand. Backhand, I was probably getting close to the same, and I'm not a big backhand guy, so, you know, good disc. <clears throat> Got a lot of Latitude 64 and Clash in the bag. Dynamic, it's also the same thing. It's getting added to the bag. It's a good, that's like, an, that's going to be like my, uh, my workhorse driver. So shout out to Ricky Wai, Ricky, 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 Ricky Wai Saki. And uh, I'll leave you guys with some Bojangles. Hope all of you enjoy your day.
Take care.